total eclipse that half the world has been clamoring about for months was finally emerging overhead. But with this unique and infinitely dangerous situation playing out, Vitaly had completely forgotten why the Sharno ground they stood on was near completely enveloped in inky, oppressive darkness. Gendunga Gap looked at him with such a powerful air of condescension that he made the young vampire feel like a farm animal. With this creature being his longtime owner, he also felt he had crossed a line you don't get to cross too many times in one lifetime as a farm animal and not wind up being dinner. Do you understand what you are, little vampire? Or more importantly, do you understand the changes that are occurring inside you just for being this close to the Ginunga Gap? Vitaly tried to regain some of his lost composure, so irregularly cast aside as useless, thanks to this being, unlike any he had ever come across before, and Vitaly was a 2,100-year-old vampire, a 2,103-year-old vampire, with a lot of power to be more exact, the oldest known on the continent, and very likely further than that from his understanding. But 2,000 years of experience leave you with a sharp intuition, and there was definitely an awesome energy moving about. This character was definitely a part of the show, and could be a danger of undreamt proportions. Some sort of display of equality could help, but what? Batali was very unused to this side of the equation. Uneasy and forced, it fell out of his fangy face, almost sounding like a joke. I happen to be one of the oldest vampires in existence, so to be addressed as little must be referring to something besides my age or my power. Before Vitaly could open his eyes from his last blink, Ganunga Gap was completely upon him. Aquiline nose sniffing at his eternally scruffy neck with a slow, deep sweetness that seemed to be drinking in the whole universe in kindness. Do you know much of the vampire's energy system, Vitaly? Aghast at feeling the victim, the very thing he had caused uncountable times, coupled with his quickly growing feeling of fear, which had been absent since the day he was turned, left Vitaly in a somewhat sudden, submissive mood. As Ganunga Gap sensed this, he was hopeful that this interaction would actually prove beneficial to the boy. I've heard that we have an energy body, and no one knows how it's supported. It's magical, or metaphysical, or something. That's it. Spouted Vitaly, sounding downtrodden and childish. Vampires have an energy body a lot like a tree. Starting at your core, at your spine, we can read the rings outwards energetically. If there are places or people a ring reader is familiar with that are cast into your rings, the reader can recognize them. A master reader can use this energy field as your authentic living biography. But a master reader is about as rare as, oh, let's say, a 2,000 year old vampire with a very early ring event revealing contact with Yeshua ben Joseph the Nazarene. How? How do you know this? No one knows this. Ganunga Gap responded in an understanding tone. No, there is one. And that one is me. I was there to see Jesus. It was also there to turn you into the world's youngest vampire. It was you that did this to me? said Vitaly, followed by the most convincing vampire laugh he could muster at the moment, with his emotions somewhere between completely void and absolute fear. <laughs> so, vampire father, why leave me to relearn life completely on my own at the age of 19 and then return to me now? Were you feeling nostalgic or just entertaining a touch of curious interest? And then Vitaly was quiet, at least in voice. Ginunga Gap stood in front of him smiling, and he couldn't help but smile as well. Ginunga Gap raised his finger up to his nose, and Vitaly mimicked again, a mirror image, by no volition of his own. 
Ikinunga Cap stuck both fingers up his nose, and Vitaly, of course, had no choice. Vitaly realized his feelings about the situation did not match with what must be the ridiculous look of it all. Ikinunga Gap dropped into a full lotus position as in yoga, as did Vitaly, at which point Ginunga Gap released his hold over Vitaly. Well, being that this is an entirely new position for my legs, I'm sure you can imagine the pain I'm in. But compared to you using me like a puppet, I'll take it. Just a small demonstration of exactly how much I own you. For the record, I have no interest in using or abusing that power. It's simply a matter you have to understand and accept before we can move on, said Ganunga Gap. Vitaly responded reluctantly. Move on to what exactly? Vitaly, the charge of yourself and the Ganunga Gap is to rid the world of its long plaguing vampire infestation once and for all. Just when Vitaly thought he was used to the newly found fear, it almost doubled. This isn't good, Vitaly thought. After all the crap I've survived, this might be the one that puts the final nail in the coffin. <laughs> Funny. Like and subscribe if you'd like to hear what happens to our vampires in the next episode of Monsters, Monsters of the Eclipse. Eclipse.